Hey everybody, uh, recently I shot a video where I discussed atmospheric CO2 levels down here in my fish room and how that impacts my tank. And during that video I was showing you my CO2 counter that actually measures the levels of atmospheric CO2 I have in here. And I discussed how burning candles or burning hurricane lamps would actually increase the levels of CO2 in the room dramatically. And we checked every so often to see how much the levels were rising and so on and so forth. Well, this morning I just wanted to shoot a real quick video and show you that as I came down here, this is uh, first thing in the morning, well, it's honestly, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning, that's usually when I come down and turn the lights on for everybody and get the day started, uh, and even though it is very first thing in the morning and I have not yet been down here today, we are already sitting at, I believe, 1,400 parts per million CO2, that's 11, 12, 13, 14 and 1500 parts per million so I've been in the room for about five minutes now so we were probably uh, just getting on the cusp of 15 this only counts to the closest hundred so if we came down this morning and it was at say 1475 or something like that uh, it would not have taken much for me to be down here moving around and breathing to increase the co2 a little bit so no real point to that i just wanted to show you that even though i've not been down here all night the co2 that builds up in the house from us breathing i have uh, some cats and a dog uh, various candles burning upstairs during the evening etc all these different sources of co2 that get produced in my house eventually find their way down here into the basement and even though i've not been down here all night we still have uh, 1500 parts per million which is actually five times what the normal background levels of CO2 are if I was to go outside for example. Uh, in my upstairs this time of year with the house all closed up it's probably still higher than normal it's probably six or seven hundred parts per million upstairs but down here in my basement this is effectively uh, the equivalent of a bathtub and all of that CO2 that has uh, a heavier molecular weight than oxygen or nitrogen tends to settle and being again here in the basement it tends to settle to the lowest point in the house and that's why uh, despite not being here overnight we still have such high levels down here in the basement that does translate to my tank again if you've watched my other videos and maybe i'll talk a little more about that uh, later um, it does translate to your tank though. I've proved that out. I've done a series of experiments. This is not just speculation. Uh, I know this to be a fact. So I do have more CO2 in my tanks down here than I do in my tanks upstairs. And this little blinky light over here is what tells me exactly how much I have in my atmosphere. And then I can figure out how much that translates to being in my tank. So once again, we're sitting right down at 1500 parts per million, five times the normal uh, levels you would typically expect to find in the outside environment. So nothing particular like I said just a little update on how much CO2 I got here in the basement is one of my little things that I always pay attention to uh, and I think about it quite a lot so I just figured I'd shoot a little video about it. So thanks again for watching this one. I'll see you real soon on the next one.